This is Counter Steer. This is my actual first broadcast with my voice. Anyway, let's get into gear ratios. I see a lot of people are always uh, testing and tuning their suspension. A lot of people stray away from gears and rely on traction control and a lot of other things on them. So we'll start off with what to look for when you do your gears. So most people have uh, first gears, or first and second are, are very touchy gears, like right here, I'm at a dig, I come off the line, it spins, and I'm on racing soft, so if you're using sports or comforts, it's gonna be even worse, and God forbid you wanna come off the line with some power, it's just gonna do this. And uh, we do not want that. So here's my way of eliminating this. So you go into your gear settings. The first thing I would do is, uh, mind you, take note, the adjustment here is 140 kilometers to 63 kilometers. Not bad, but when you start getting into really high end cars, you need a lot more wiggle room than this. This is just isn't enough. So how do we fix that? You should do this with every car. Drop your final all the way down. Come back out, your top speed automatically adjust it, jack it all the way up. 800 get back into your gears now you'll see we got an adjustment range of 214 kilometers and 96 kilometers 96 kilometers might be a little much for uh low-end horsepower cars if that is the case you could just come back down here bring this back up and it'll drop that right hand number now it's down to 76 uh, but in this case we got a almost 500 horsepower r7 I'm gonna start off and go with 100 kilometers for the for the first gear, you know. That's about 60 to 62 miles an hour. So we'll try that for first gear. Do not worry about anything else here, just first gear. That's the one you need to get sorted. So we'll see how it takes off from a dig. Bogs down a little bit. But not bad, not bad. It didn't really ever spin its tires, but I have a heavy foot, so I like to come off, you know, red line. And it, it's manageable. Spin is to be expected, but I want to still come off even faster. And I don't really want to have to worry about that. So I will add 20 to this. You could do it in increments of 10. Like, I'll, I'll do it in increments of 10. So you could see the difference. All right, from a dig, it bogs down a good bit. Still doesn't take off too bad. Once boost is maxed, still spinning. I can't really get on it. Now, some people that's fine, you know. But I, again, I, I'm a heavy, I'm very heavy on the throttle. And I'm assuming most people who are running traction control, probably heavy on the throttle too. So I'm gonna go 10 more. And 120. I feel like 120 is gonna be a pretty good for this car. All right, again, from a dig. No, it really bogs pretty, pretty bad. But, we come off the line, red lined. Ah, uh, pretty much hooks up. Now, if I didn't have this corner in the way, or we'll try it right here. Ah, uh, yeah. That's where you want to land. Just like that. All right, so now that first gear takes off pretty good, at least for what I'm trying to do. You can adjust it however. You'll eventually know where where you want it to be, but first gear is the most important. Once that's done, you know, just bring these other gears in. It does not really matter where they land. Just get them in, tucked in closer. And so if 100 kilometers is uh, about 60 miles an hour. 
I would say, you know, 300 kilometers is over 180 miles an hour. So I would say, yeah, that's not a bad setup. So, you know, for the second part here, you got your first gear done. Don't worry about it. Don't look back at it ever again. Fifth gear, that's your, or sixth or seventh, whatever your last gear is on your transmission. That's the one you want to do next. You want to figure out your top speed. So that's what I have that set as. I'll run down the straightaway real quick. We'll see if that's where we want to end up. Power starts to fall off around 7,500. That's not bad, 170. So the other thing to consider when you're doing your final is where, wherever part you have that makes power will show you a graph. The gray is your torque. So and blue is obviously horsepower. So you can see where your power is coming in at. Since at the bottom right of this box it says 8,651, that's my max RPM. That's redline pretty much. So if I had to guess, I would say I make max power around 7,000 RPM and it kind of tapers off after that. So for now with that, you know, fifth gear didn't seem bad. So now what I look for is the spaces between these gears. Some cars show a line there. This one, I don't know why it doesn't, but anyway, look at the spaces between the gears here. You see they kind of narrow up at the top. What I would do, if you got a pretty well-balanced car, I would just even these up. So again, what you're looking at here is a uh, You're looking at this space right here, these spaces, that one, that's between first and second, second and third, third and fourth, and fourth and fifth. This is basically your RPM drop every time you shift. <clears throat> so we'll see what that actually looks like. Let me slow down here for a sec. All right, so pretty much first gear is gonna shift and I'm gonna be at like 6,100 RPM. Second gear feels pretty good at so much 6400 RPM. Third gear's like 6600 RPM. Fourth gear, 6800 RPM. That's pretty good. And I got some wiggle room for a draft or nitrous, you know. You might need more, a little more top end for stuff like that. But I, you can see it, I'm pretty heavy on the throttle here and the car is much more manageable. So that's pretty much how you do your gears. With that said, that works good on a pretty balanced car. You know, this car is not crazy overpowered or anything. You know, the spacing here is pretty good, but sometimes you have something that has killer torque. You know, like this Camaro, this Camaro is a monster. It will spin no matter what. and really takes a lot of throttle control. So you can make it better, but you can see the difference in gears here. You know, I'm 164 first gear. Don't be shy to raise it up, you know. As long as you can manage it, you know, it's fine. So the space here is a lot wider between first and second. Second and third is equally wide. And then I narrow it up. You know, again, I figured out my top speed. I evened them all up like I showed you previously, but then I realized uh, second and third need to be wider. You know, I still have too much power there. I'm spinning like a madman. So it could look like this as well. So that's just different different ways to to do your gears, but pretty much that's how I always do mine and it serves me pretty well. I yeah, know. hopefully it helps out, give it a whirl. Don't be afraid of it. You know, pretty much there's a the direction you want to take, so. Good luck, have fun, and if you have any questions or comments, you know, leave me a message and I'll get back to you. Alright, have fun guys. Later.